To what extent do we have a right to privacy in our financial lives? Should we be incentivized to be public? Does privacy perpetuate or enable injustice? That's a great question. Privacy is a human right. It is also the fountainhead for all of the other human rights. If you don't have privacy, you don't have freedom of expression, you don't have freedom of association, you don't have freedom of assembly. I saw a really stunning picture, which was this week in Hong Kong. They're protesting against the extradition uh, law that China is trying to pass so they can extradite dissidents to China and disappear them into the gulags. And so they're protesting really, really hard, but they learn. Last time they did protests, they used their subway cards to track who went to the protests. So this time they had line, lines of people lining up with masks on, so they can't do facial recognition in the stations, buying tickets with cash and using paper tickets that are untraceable. They learned an important lesson. Without financial privacy, you don't have political rights. And this happens all around the world. It can happen here just as easily. So it's a fundamental right. We should not incentivize people to make their, fi their private financial information public. Because what happens is, the people who are powerless will be forced to make their information public. And the people who are powerful, who for centuries have maintained their financial privacy, including criminals, will elect to remain private. They will put their bank accounts in Switzerland, you can read their names. They're in the Panama Papers. You remember when the Panama Papers were released and we found out that the world's financial elite had been stashing trillions of dollars in foreign bank accounts and then all of them got prosecuted and half of them went to jail? <laughs> oh no, they just killed the journalist who wrote the story and no one went to jail. Right? So you think they're going to give up their financial privacy? No. It's up to you to decide if you want it. And does it perpetuate or enable justice? Justice is a fundamental requirement for peace. Peace is not the absence of war. Peace is the presence of justice, as Martin Luther King said. Without justice, there is no peace. You want to fix the world, give financial future, and take people out of poverty. If we continue to let fear dominate our political life, and we continue to separate people into those who have the privilege of a future for their children and those who don't, those who don't will come and kill us. And they have every right to do so. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. All my work is shared for free. So if you want to support it, join me on Patreon.